What's the difference between probate and non-probate assets? Hi, I'm attorney Paul DeLaurie, and I'll answer that question in two easy steps. Step one, identify non-probate assets. Now, these are assets that automatically transfer to a beneficiary or to someone else upon death, bypassing the probate process. Examples include life insurance policies with a named beneficiary, retirement accounts like IRAs and 401ks, jointly owned property with a right of survivorship, and assets held in a trust. Step two, understand probate assets. So if an asset isn't a non-probate asset, then it most likely needs to go through the probate process. This includes solely owned property, uh, individual bank accounts uh, without a payable on death beneficiary, personal belongings, and investments not designated to a beneficiary. In probate, these assets are distributed according to the will or uh, state law if there was no will. Remember, the key difference lies in how these assets are titled and whether they have a designated beneficiary. Proper planning can ensure that your assets or that a person's assets are distributed as intended with or without probate. Are you feeling overwhelmed or do you have specific questions about probate in Arizona? Well, we're here to help. Call us at 602-443-4888 for some guidance. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Arizona-specific probate tips from Probate Made Simple.